So question three, we've got three uh, parentheses time, times uh, 2y minus 3 is less than 33. So what have we got to do first? So these guys, we've got to simplify both sides to begin with. So, so you're going to multiply in with the distributive property, right? Multiply in there with the distributive property. 3 times 2y is 6y. What's 3 times negative 3? 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Okay. And now we've got to solve. And again, it's just like an equation. And you're just looking to isolate the y. Try to get y by itself. y has been multiplied by 6, and then 9 is being subtracted. And the easiest thing is to get rid of the, the subtracting 9 at first. How do you undo subtracting 9? How do you get rid of that, neg that, that, that negative 9? You would add 9, right, to both sides. Right? So we'll get um, 6y on this side. And we add it to both sides so the sign stays in the same direction. Right? Always thinking of that. When we add to both sides, same direction. When we subtract from both sides, changes direction. When we divide by a positive, changes direction. When we divide by a negative, or la. When we add, subtract, or divide by a positive, the sign stays the same. But it's only when we divide by a negative that we need to change direction. So we've got to just keep an eye on that. So in any case, 33 plus 9 gives us 42. And now we have 6y is less than 42. How do you get y by itself? Y has been multiplied by 6, so you got to undo multiplying by 6. How, do you, how would you undo multiplying by 6? Divide by 6 on both sides, right? Right, And that gives us Y here, and we divide it by a positive, so what do we do with the... Um, divide by a positive, what should we do with the inequality? same direction, right? Divide by positive, same direction. 42 over 6 gives 7, and we have y is less than 7. Now to graph this on a number line, y represents all numbers less than 7, basically. So what we're trying to graph is all numbers less than 7, okay? So give me one number that's less than 7, any number, where is it? How about zero? That's less than seven. Anything else? How about four? That's less than seven. Anything else? How about negative six? That's less than seven, isn't it? All those negatives are, right? How about what else? Eight is not. How about six? Six is, right? So all these numbers and all the ones in between, like one and a half and two and a half and three and a quarter and negative 1.1, all the decimals and fractions in between decimals or fractions in between the whole the uh, integers and this goes all the way in this direction okay and it can go all the way to negative million can't it or negative a billion uh, and all the way and it can go even further than that right to negative two billion it can keep going keep going because all these numbers are less than seven and how far can we get on the number line in this direction can we get to negative infinity or can we just kind of go towards it, right? So we got to kind of go towards negative infinity, right? Um, and how about if you think about decimals, can you think of, okay, we say 6 is less than 7, but how about something else like, think about decimals, how about 6.5? That's also less than 7, isn't it? How about 6.9999, right? That's also less than 7. So we're, we're basically going as far, we have to keep less than 7. 7 is not part of the answer, but we have to get as close as we can. And so we're, we're kind of thinking of 6.9999999, that type of uh, idea. And we use a parenthesis in this direction right at 7, okay? And that's to represent that you're going right up to 7, but not including 7, okay?